Okay. Don't laugh. So this is my spider farm. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Yeah, okay, okay. I know it's doo-doo. I know it's absolutely doo-doo. But, but listen, okay, hey, hey. Hey, listen, okay. I didn't feel like making this into a real farm, so this is what we're working with here. Oh, sheesh. Oh, this isn't great. Okay, I think all the extra bad guys are cleared out. Before we really get started, I wanted to show this off. So, obviously, this isn't working for me. I need a better way to get XP, so here's what I'm thinking. What if instead of relying on stinky mob spawns, I made my own thing that would guarantee me experience? Huh? There's a novel idea. What if I did that? Well, oh boy, howdy. Oh, I got some news for you guys. Oh. I don't like it up. But anyways, uh, I'm going to sleep through the night and then I'll continue my, sh my, my, my spiel. What do you mean it's not nighttime? I can see stars. I bet it's nighttime now. <laughs> okay, so here's the plan, Lee Stanley. I'm going to make an automatic kelp farm that leads into an automatic smelter that's fueled by, get this, an automatic, what an automatic bamboo farm. It's going to be a full auto X XP grinder, essentially. But also, big announcement. Huge announcement. I fi figured out what, I'm, what, what, what I'd like to build around here. So this Mesa area is going to be where I build all my stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build all these farms, like my pumpkin and melon farm right here. So in this Mesa area, I'm going to build all my farms. Obviously, just said that. But my theme is going to be steampunk. Sort of. My goal is steampunk, but, you know... We'll see where that turns out. So the other night I hopped on the server and got some space prepared for the builds I'm going to do in this episode. And I also built this staircase and it's kind of an industrial look. I really like the way the, what, what are these? Uh, what is it called? I, I can't, uh, lightning rods. I like the way the lightning rods look. I think they look sick. So the first thing I'm going to do in this episode, uh, is, is just get some stuff prepared. I'm going to, I'm going to outline where my build's going to go and kind of brainstorm some ideas. I'm thinking the build's going to go like right here. This is going to be my XP grinder right here, I think. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pr it's probably going to be right there. I'll get back to you once once I got some stuff down. Well, okay, that took uh, significantly longer than I thought. I had zero resources to build with, but here we are. Okay, so I have a base. I have uh, some pillars, and, and well, that's, uh, hmm, well, that's about it. But, but, what's important is I have a design. I have a design. So let's hop over to creative real quick so I can show off what I've done. <laughs> okay, here we are. Here's what I'm looking at. Here's what I'm looking at. So we have this chest to collect all this dried kelp, and the kelp is grown in the back here. Uh, well, you can't really see it, can you? Hold on. So the kelp is grown back here. It's uh sort of slow, but it works. It works well enough. And we have a bamboo farm that powers the furnace, but... I, I messed with the tick speeds, and we got way more kelp than we did bamboo, and bamboo burns really fast, and I'd have to AFK here, so it, it, it just, it, it works, it works, trust me, it works, just, <sighs> okay, one second, okay, hear that, there we are, now we're cooking, now we're cooking, then the, the kelp goes into this chest, so then I have dried kelp, well, the whole reason for this farm is to get XP, so basically I just flip this lever, and grab my kelp. I don't know if you could hear it over the sound of the pistons, but I got XP from that. So I would just AFK there, let it do its thing, and uh, collect the XP. There's probably ways to make it better. I could make the farms bigger and more efficient, but you know what? This works for me. It's better than the spider farm, because I don't got to do anything. It's AFKable. So I think I should probably head back to survival and start constructing this, because, well, between you and me, I'm just wasting time. Okay, then I have officially run out of scripted content. Sorry to break the illusion, but I do write out kind of what I want to say in these videos. It helps me. Probably makes the videos better, too. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to just start building and uh, I guess do a little chat, do a little time-lapse chat, because I can do those after I finish recording, and it makes it so much easier and entertaining, dare I say. So now I'm ready to build. Let's get this show on the road. In today's chat, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about something that's grinding my gears. For some context, I'm a big-time TikTok commenter. I love leaving nice comments on people's TikToks because I know how ruthless other people can be and I like to leave a nice little message. Which leads us to about four days ago. 
I saw a meme, and it reminded me of when I was in high school, so I left a little comment saying something like, Oh man, this takes me back to high school. Yeah, a little normy of me, but whatever. Apparently, someone left a really mean response to my comment, but I never even got to see it because a bunch of people came to my rescue and the original hater ended up deleting his comment. So now I'm mad because one, someone tried to hate on me, first L, and two, I never had the chance to see the comment, second L. I guess this is my form of internet drama because I'm a small creator and don't have beef with anyone yet, and I think that's just about all the time I have today, so let's go back to the video. Well, okay, it's, it's, uh, I think it's actually all coming together, to be honest. I need to change that into a smoker and it'll start working pretty soon here. I've got all of the stuff in place. Uh, the hardest part was actually getting this back part built. This back part where I have all of the kelp growing, that took a little while, but it's there now. It all works. So the part I'm on now is I just got to construct the actual building. And to do that, I wanted to use brick. I thought brick would look really good. So we're going to put like walls in like this, I think. I, actually, that looks really good. That actually looks really good. We're going to keep the walls. I unironically love the walls. I think it looks great. What do you think? Should I change it? Should I keep it? I think it looks good. I'm also going to come through and fill in the floor a little bit with some uh, stone bricks because I think that's going to actually help texture it a little bit more. It's going to kind of look like this. We're going to have some stone brick come up from the bottom and like transition into actual brick. That's a lot of brick, but I think it's going to look something like this. So we need to go for like a tall brick building with, I think, like a nice peaked roof. Now, one thing I've been thinking about is I've got like a ton of open space in here, like back here. Oh my god! Why? My heart is pounding right now. That scared me so bad. I hate that. Why? They're all just sitting at my door now. One of them has an enchanted bow. And there's a piglin here? Well, I'm gonna deal with this real fast and then I'll I'll cut back to it once I'm ready to start building again. All right, no harm, no foul. We're back in the game. Now that all the bad guys are out of here, let's go ahead and uh, actually get a start here. Uh, we're gonna start for working from the bottom up and then we'll figure out what we wanna put in here later. I'm thinking a smelter, but we'll see, we'll see. It's working. Look at that. <gasps> Outstanding. Outstanding absolutely outstanding so enough dawdling it's time to actually get some work done here there we are it is done uh with an asterisk there's no roof yet we'll get a roof on it but what do you think uh, kind of happy with it. Look at a view from the other side. Uh, I put these little, like, bricks in here, these stone bricks, because I thought they added a little bit. Thought it made it look pretty nice, pretty suave. And while I've been doing this, we've got 39 dried kelp in here. We're loaded up with bamboo, which was one of my concerns, but it's not that big a deal. It's working out. It's really working out for me. What I think I'm going to do now is probably terraform this back section a little bit so it's closer to the same level as the actual build itself so that I can come around the back because I have an idea I want to put a super smelter back here inside the actual building itself and in order to use that I'm gonna need a place to stand okay so now we got this whole area like terraformed up a little bit I'm gonna go get some blocks and then uh, just kind of bring this pathway over here so that we can kind of have a nice paved road okay 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 gamers sidewalk complete Sidewalk's not complete. Oh, I just remembered. I just remembered what I need. Observe, everybody. Observe. Bam. Oh my god, he did it. That looks decent. Maybe we could get, like, uh, lanterns. We could try and see what lanterns look like. Those might look even better. Because, like, the torches are... I, they fit really nicely because it's the same width. But maybe a lantern would fit even better. Let's see. That's better. That's just, that's just better. Uh, let's see, let's see. What else can we do real quick? Because I feel like I haven't done much. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. I think I could probably spruce up the area down here a little bit more. Uh, we could probably make a little plaza. And I think that would fit really perfectly, like right here. I think I might do that. I think I might uh, work to make this just like a nice little area. It's just nicer looking than whatever this is. Let's envision. Let's do some envisioning together. This part here, underneath the staircase, doesn't matter too much, but I feel like, since it's me, 
and I always do this stuff, a water feature. A water feature coming out right there, just pouring into this area right here. Yes, sir. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Instantly. Instantly looks better. Okay, so now all we gotta do is fill that in with, like, good blocks instead of terracotta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. That's actually turning out perfectly. Okay, a new day, a new me. Let's see it. How did I do? Oh, yes. That's looking marvelous. I think that turned out very nicely. Gamers, it is time. Where's my lapis? All right, we're going to go with helmet first. Protection three. Um, I'd like to see protection four or on breaking three. Protection three. Blast protection four. Hmm. Let's go grab a book. Let's go grab a book. <sighs> protection. Okay, we'll get knocked back. What do we get now? Unbreaking three. I'll take it. Oh, yes. That made it worth it. Unbreaking three. Okay, we can work with that. Oh, protection four. Okay, hold on. I got to grind out some levels real fast. It's happening. It is time. It is time. Pop those in there. Protection four. Okay, protection four. Unbreaking three. That's what we're going for here. Uh, protection four by itself. I'll take it. I'll take it. Got a lot of stuff going for us here. I'm pantsless. Got to put those pants back on. You know what? I think we did a decent amount of stuff today. I think we did. We can pat ourselves on the back. Especially for this. Maybe it's just me. You know what? Hey, thanks for watching. If you're seeing this, thanks for watching to the very end. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. But that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. As for now, Uncle Randall, out.